Tuesday, the 24th of February. It's been raining all morning, roads are wet, but I need to get out of the house. I've been doing a few things in the house, a little bit of a uh, do-it-yourself uh, plumbing. Uh, no, I just need to get out of the house. So, meet me on the road. So, I'm going to use going to use my route mapping software called DoorDirect, I think. I think that's what it's called. I'm just going to take a quick ride in the rain, in the wet. So here we go, I'm wearing my leather jacket because it's quite warm. 59 degrees, almost 60 degrees. If it rains though, I'm going to be uh, unhappy. Now let's just check that my uh, main camera is on. Make sure my helmet cam was on. I turned it off. I sometimes don't remember whether I turned it back on again. So it's almost 60 degrees. On Sunday, it was below freezing and we had snow on the ground. And now, Now it is 60 degrees. Doesn't uh, well, it doesn't want to know, make its mind up. But the grass in my front yard is starting to grow, so it thinks it's spring. Well, the spring is, I don't know, almost a month away. First day of spring. But this is Southern Virginia. Don't really have a winter. Well, the roads are quite wet. I don't have my motorcycle in rain mode, I probably should. Yeah, there we are, we're in rain. But it always puts the goddamn suspension to road. Oh well, let's leave the, the suspension in road for a while. So now I have my motorcycle in rain mode because the roads are wet. It's put the suspension to road mode. My uh, spring height adjustment is set to auto. Lights are down. So um, I believe the rain mode slows down my throttle response, softens up the suspension. Well, I know it does that, and. Uh, causes the uh, 
ABS and the uh, traction control to a different setting so that I don't lose traction in the wet weather. On Friday, it's only four days ago, I was riding in snow and ice and freezing conditions. Today, which is Tuesday, I'm riding in 60 degree weather, overcast and wet roads. Well, I have to say, when the suspension is in road mode, it is a very bouncy watery old Hector. It's supposed to be more comfortable but it, it moves around a lot. But we'll leave it in road mode for now. I like to wear my leather jacket when I can. I don't get to wear it very often because the uh, extremes of temperature and weather here in Virginia. It's either too warm or too cold for it. I can only wear the leather jacket when it's all like 55 to 75 degrees. Not 75 degrees, it is way too warm and under 55 degrees it's way too cold even with the thermal liner in it so for Virginia this leather jacket is not the best for England where it was made you could wear this jacket all year because it really gets above 75 degrees the only issue you'd have with it is the amount of rain that you have in Europe So tax, textile jackets, textile uh, motorcycle clothing is far more user friendly than uh, leather. Leather is very protective, but not very good when it comes to the weather. The rain or wet, but I'm perfectly comfortable at the moment. Going past the Civil War cemetery on my uh, right here there's uh, Union and Confederate soldiers buried in there in some of the older parts in some of the newer parts there are uh, modern day uh, veterans buried and their spouses Well, as you can tell, I'm just going for a cup of coffee at Par House. I'm just, uh, I've got things to do at home. Things to take care of. I need to get my uh, the, uh, foot peg lowering kit for this. Kit for this. So I sit more relaxed and maybe some handlebar risers handlebar risers if I fit handlebar risers to this I might have the uh, the dealership do it because you need a specific tool which I don't have a puller it moves the handlebars up an inch and back a little bit 